Hi, I'm Chris Seaman. I want to first thank the FAA for their continued support of SafeTech. This is a demonstration video where we're going to walk through how to assemble your XTech. Then once we get it assembled, we're going to talk about how to use it. So we have right here in front of me the box that you're going to get as soon as you get the XTech. And I'm going to walk through how to take it apart, how to put it together. I'm going to name the parts for you to make sure you have everything. And then we're going to get to the point where we have the finished product, which is easy to use, ready to go, very simple. The first thing you'll notice when you open up the box is the x deck in here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the zip ties to pull out each of the products. If you want, check inside of this box and we have the instructions. This is how to assemble the x deck. You can follow along in the instructions as we go through assembling the x deck. Here we have all the handrails that we've pulled out of the box. And these handrails do require a little bit of assembly, so we're going to first start with the handrails before going to assembling the x deck. So what you first do is pull all the handrails out of your box, and here we'll name them. We got the, this one long skinny piece right here. This handrail is the end piece. You have the handrail that's the back piece that doesn't have any hinges. This handrail right here, you'll notice, has hinges so it can flex. This one is the front piece. It'll be on the step side. And then these three handrails, the square one and these two extensions, we'll talk about a little later once we get the handrail assembled. They're just little extensions that add on to the handrail so when you have it up next to the tank you could have more handrails to hold on to. The assembly part of this handrail is on the two end pieces, the two long pieces handrail. We're going to have to flip this bar upside down. You'll notice the little bolts. We're going to take the bolts off with adjustable wrenches but for speed's sake I'm going to use 7 16 adjustable socket wrenches to get the job done a little quicker. The reason we did this was for shipping reasons. It was easier to package it. So what we're going to first do is we're going to take off the, the bolts, flip it upside down, and put it back on. One thing you'll need to notice here with this handrail is there's a sleeve in the screw. The sleeve makes it so it only fits into one side of the handrail. The hole's a little bigger on one side of the handrail than the other. So the same side that it came in, when you flip it upside down and it goes back in, make sure it goes in the same side. Okay, now that this handrail is on good and tight, we're going to go to the next handrail. On the handrail that has the hinges, we're going to flip this whole bar upside down. So you're going to take off the two bolts on either side. Now that we've gotten the bolts out, we're going to take this top bar and flip it upside down. Now when you take it out, remember also, we're going to flip it the other direction. So this top part is going to be facing up. And you'll notice on the handrail on this side has a little bit of little sticks out a little bit. This side will be opposite the top part. The last part of the handrail assembly is we're going to grab these two pieces and we're going to put them onto the two long handrails. So how this is going to work is you'll pick up one of the handrails, you'll notice a bolt at the very end that's not attached to anything. We're going to take this bolt off, slide this handrail into place, and then once we get it into place, we're going to put the bolt back in. Okay, now that we've finished up this handrail, we're going to do the exact same thing to the other handrail. The X deck comes almost completely fully assembled. The only part we're going to have to do is put on the one leg onto the rest of the leg. This is a hinged leg. This will allow it to fold backwards for more compact storage. So what we're first going to do is pull the X deck out of the box, lay it upside down on its back, and we're going to put this bolt on. We're going to use a, you can use an adjustable wrench or you can use a three-quarter inch socket wrench to get this job done. Okay, as we're about to put this on, you'll notice the bolt here. How it comes out of the box is how it's supposed to go on. The plastic washers are supposed to be on the inside. Then you have a brass washer, which will be on the outside. It comes just the way it is. It's easy to put on. Just to reiterate, this plastic bushing is going to go between the bronze on the inside and the outside of this metal. It's going to kind of act as a barrier between the two. So now I'm just going to tighten up this bolt, and this is the last step. Once I get this bolt tightened, make sure you latch the leg, and then it's ready for use. Now remember, we want to latch the X-Deck leg whenever we're going to use the X-Deck. 
On all four legs, there's these leg extensions. They're already hooked up top, so what we're going to do is we're going to slide them down, hook them in at the bottom of the leg. And this is how it's going to look when it's finished. This leg extension on the bottom of the rungs is the only one that's on backwards. We did this for shipping reasons. So what you're going to want to do is pop this cap off, take off the leg extension, flip it upside down, and put it back on.